Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will see the differences for different sorting mechanisms in hive. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So friends, in the ordering mechanisms in hive, right, we have these four options. Order by. Order by clause is used for sorting the data in ascending or descending order. And by default, it orders, I mean which is, which means it sorts in ascending order. And we will see one simple query like how to do this. If you have hive shell installed, right, you can try these queries and get back to me if you are facing any issues. So let's say you have employee table with employee ID, employee name, department, department number, salary, whatever columns you want here, you can create a table. So select star from employee table, order by name, employee name or employee ID, anything you want to, you can add it. So when you query, when you trigger this query, right, using the order by class, order by class uses a single reducer to do the full sorting of the data which means that so let's say this is your file you have the file here with some numbers which you wanted to use sort by based on the numbers let's say employee id or something because numbers is easy to remember i am giving this example let's say uh, so let, let's say department numbers okay there are 10 uh, 30 20 any numbers okay etc etc so once you submit this file for ordering by default one mr job will be created and inside this mr job it will spawn the reducers it will give the work to reducers to perform the sorting so if you see here this file will be going through all these things and once after the reducer how the output will look like is it will sort this one whatever we have given right total like 10 20 it's not 20 something 16 was there, yeah, 11 16 17 17 two times then 20 30 34 or whatever okay in the sorting order so if you notice here the entire file whatever you are asking to order by this entire file will be sent to a single reducer which means that the entire sorting will be done by one reducer in the order by clause because of that the entire output of this reducer will be seen at the end right so if you wanted to do a full sorting of data you can use order by clause okay what is the difference what is the full sorting we will understand when we see the other options okay so this order by does the full sorting of data and uh, like since the order by a class will perform in a single reducer it, of course it will take lot of time and if you are uh, you can use limit class along with that as well okay like the similar one select star from the table so if you have like a notice the job is taking hive job is taking some time mr job is taking some time then you can use order by class with the limit class limit limit uh, clause but this is not like uh, it's op optional it's, it's not like you have to use limit with order by the combination it's not like that okay table order by emp id or department id limit 100 or limit 10 whatever you want you can give but if you are in a strict mode then limit class is mandatory this is the only point to remember when you work with order by class like when you are using this you, this strict mode this hadoop strict mode in hive then you have to use the limit 100 other than that uh, limit by is optional and you can do the order by okay 
second one is sort by i'll just clear it off so sort by also does the ordering of the data but within a reducer what is the meaning of that within a reducer is i'll just do control z okay yeah here we what we have seen is one mr rub and one reducer will do the sorting but in sort by what will happen is here instead of one reducer it will be sent to multiple reducers not to a single reducer based on the data size it will be sent to multiple reducers okay and because it is in the multiple reducer the sort by will happen the sorting of the data will happen within the reducer means what is let's say you have this data right so let's say you are sending 10 30 20 11 to this reducer and the rest of the things like after 11 we have 17 34 16 and 17 to this second reducer so what sort by does is when you see the output of this entire thing right it sorts the first reducer first data in the first reducer first okay this is the output of the first reducer and then it adds to the same uh, like uh, the output the sorted output will be added in this way which means that the first four values are ordered using for in the first reducer the remaining four values are sorted using the second reducer so it is not considered as full sorting of the data but in order by we have seen because that that entire thing is happening inside a single reducer we will say a full ordering of data but whereas in the sort by we because we will use multiple reducers and the sorting will happen within the reducer so you will see this kind of output but as we are mainly looking for job performance sometimes we will use this sort by also so now we will see how to use sort by select star from emp table sort by dept number or whatever okay this is how we will use the sort by next one is distributed by distributed by actually as the name says it will distribute the data to reducers based on the key value pairs means the val the keys that are starting with 10 will be sent to one reducer or 30 to not like a single reducer to one reducer it will select it will pick up a few keys it will send to one reducer and similarly for the second reducer also let's say it will it let's say in the same way but it will make sure that the same keys sh all should be sent to one reducer for example if if you have let's say you have Uh, like duplicate data 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 something like that okay 10 11 something then again 12 12 so this kind of duplicate data if you have then it will the the distribute by will make sure that the same keys will be sent to a single reducer but whereas in the sort by what will happen is this one can be sent to this first reducer this second one can be sent to second reducer it will decide okay we cannot uh, control on that so the job will decide on that when we use sort by class when we use sort by this here i have the query but whereas the distributed by will distribute the data based on the keys key value pair it will have so like based on the keys it will distribute the data to different reducers so what it will do it will make sure that the all the ones will go to this one two will go and maybe 12 all this 1 2 12 will go to the first reducer and the remaining 3 4 10 will go to the next reducer 11 so something like that it will do but we have to remember that like distribute by will only distributes the data it will not perform 
sorting okay it will just distributes the data to different red users and that's why we have to use distribute by with sort by combination to order the data how to do that select star from emp table distribute by dept number sort by dept number when you per you you have this combination of distributed by and sorted by sort by then only your data will be sorted but again how let's say this is the data that we have in the first reducer okay let's say this is the data in first reducer and this is the second data in second second set of data in the second reducer then again what will happen when you use reducer uh, when you use sort by class it will sort only this from this within re this reducer and this data within the reducer so again the good the uh, this one data the sorted data right whatever you get out of distributed by and then sorted by will again have two two or three how many reducers are there so based on that the sets of uh, output only you will get so this is also not considered as full ordering of data okay but still based on the requirement we will use all these things in the run time real time okay and next thing is cluster by yes, actually cluster by is uh, cluster by equal to distributed by distribute by sort by we can say in a, a shortcut way which means that instead of writing distribute by and sort by it actually does the both when we mention we just mention a single statement saying cluster by it does the same which means that select star from emp table cluster by dept number when you do that first it is going to distribute based on the keys to the red users and then it sorts within the red user okay so it's same as this one we can use either this long statement using both the distribute by and so sort by or you can use the cluster by as well so these are the different sorting mechanisms we have so the conclusion is like if you wanted to perform a full full ordering of data then you can use order by if you have huge data then you can use this with a limit by or you can filter out the data before doing the order by and if you are dealing with the multiple filter commands and if you have some manageable data then you can use the remaining stuff hope this is useful to you friends these are the mainly asked uh, I mean frequently asked one of the interview questions Thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you